Clay. Ah! Clay, you know you can't do that. You know I have PTSD from my time in the war. Clay, you're a raging liberal socialist who would never die in a rich man's war for oil. There's no way you have PTSD. Fair. Besides, it's been three months since you've made a video. Where's the content at? I've had a lot going on lately. Look, I I moved. I, um, I got a new job. So there's just stuff in my life that's been happening. Okay? I, I can't put a stop to that for YouTube. Clay, you literally just stay in bed and eat steak. That's all you ever do anymore. No, I don't. Whatever, man. You're not a real YouTuber. You're a phony. A big, stupid, stinky, dumb, dumb, stupid, fat, idiot, ignorant, stupid, dumb, big, fat. <laughs> You're not a real YouTuber. Maybe that really handsome guy is right. Maybe I'm not a real YouTuber. I'm barely even a Discord moderator. I'm not smart, funny, or handsome enough to be a Discord moderator. Who am I even kidding anymore? If only there was some way I could come up with a great idea for a new video. I got it. Hey y'all, Plastic Commander here with another spectacular, glorious video. So I know it's been quite a while since I've made a video, uh, since December uh, with the Christmas special, but um, I kind of slapped that together too. But the reason uh, for that and the reason I've been in the dark for so long is because I moved. And on top of that, I now have my very own collection room. So I'm really excited for that. I've never had anything like that in my life. I'm still setting it up. So definitely uh, stay tuned. I'll post updates to the Discord. Join the Discord, by the way. But anywho, today we're going to be talking about some toy army men tanks. So I talk about tanks uh, very little, actually. I don't really talk about that many vehicles. But um, that's because I'm not a huge vehicle and equipment guy. I really prefer the tiny little figures uh, above all else, but I do own a wide variety of vehicles. So I figured this would be a fun time to showcase some. So the way I would have organized this video is that I want to start with my tanks that are roughly like a dollar, and I want to work my way up to one tank I own, which is worth a lot more than a dollar let's just say that it's it's worth quite a bit so uh that's basically the theme of this video we're gonna be looking at a bunch of tanks and getting my opinions of them as well of course that's the reason y'all watch this because you care what the plastic commander has to say so without further say it with me adieu let's jump right into the video hey since i have like this quarter for the commander quarter and it's also a quarter now should i be like ray william johnson and i can jump back and forth from quarter to quarter while i'm talking do any of you guys even know who ray william johnson is are my fans even old enough to know who ray william johnson is have you guys even listened to your favorite martian okay do you even know what real youtube is quite frankly i don't think that you do what was I talking about? Welcome back to another episode of 
the Plastic Commander Toy Army Men review, but today we're not going to be reviewing the little green tan and uh, other color guys that are out there. No, we're not going to be reviewing them at all. We're going to be looking at what they bring to the battlefield. So, today we're talking about Toy Army Men tanks. So I'm just going to start from the $1 price point and I'm going to work my way up to eventually a tank that's worth roughly between $250 to $300. So starting us out, you already see it a little bit. We got this little guy as well as this little guy. These little guys. So you probably recognize these, but a long time ago, or at least not that long ago in recent memory, the dollar store sold both of these. This one right here was made by Imperial, and of course it's a clone of the Timmy uh, Patton tank. In fact, for reference, I have a Timmy tank, and I won't be going over the Timmy tank. I really um, kind of want to stick to, or, well, I'm talking about it right now. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk about it right now. So, we got the Timmy tank right here, and we have the knockoff. So, a few differences. First of all, of course, the sculpting on the Timmy is way better. This is an actual vintage Timmy. I'm not sure what year, uh, probably from the 70s or 80s. And these right here were made forever. Uh, I had a bunch of the clones by Imperial. Of course, they sold them for a long time, but uh, in recent years before Imperial went bankrupt, the only place you could find them was at the Dollar Tree. So, of course, very, very similar, but the detailing on the Timmy, of course, it's leaps and bounds better. Like, in the plastic, it's much sturdier, too. Um, the one thing about this one that I really like, as opposed to the Timmy Take, and of course, you have this on the Timmy Take too, but if, it's way more difficult. But here on the clone, you just... <laughs> okay, that's... And there you go, you got a knocked out take. So, that that's actually one thing I like, as opposed to the original Timmy Patton, is that it's really easy to just remove the head of this one. And if you have one that's a different color, because they made these in tan too, uh, not recently though, you could swap them around and, I don't know, it's, it's a little cool, gives you a little bit of variety. But yeah, the, these were sold in bags, so you got a few army men with them. Um, I'm going to talk about the army men that came with these in another video. I want to do a whole video on Imperial's uh, knockoffs, but that's for the future. Uh, and it also came with like a little flag, and it was a dollar. And that was back in the good old days before inflation destroyed the country. So let's talk about the Timmy take just real quick. Uh, way back in the day, <laughs> it was worth about a dollar, but now uh, you would buy these in a three pack from BMC Toys and it'd be about $20. So, one dollar, like mm, six fifty, roughly. Don't do the math on that. I beg of you, I don't want y'all to realize how bad my math is, but let's move on to this guy. So, I technically think you're supposed to put it like that, but that's really stupid looking, so I'm not. Um, in fact, those look like headlights. But yeah, it looks much better if you put it like that. So, this tank right here, it looks like a little copy of like a, maybe an Armada or an Abrams. Just has that modern rectangular turret that you see on a lot of modern tanks. And this was actually made by Greenbrier, which Greenbrier in... Imperial were, um, I don't know if they were subsidiaries of each other or if one bought out the other. I'm actually not entirely sure. But these are really cool. And Dollar Store sold these for a dollar as well. And when I saw them, I bought quite a few because not only could you get them in green, they had yellow, they had brown, and they had blue, interestingly enough. And blue, you don't get a lot of blue army bin stuff. So that's really, really dope that uh, you were able to have that option. So they sold these for a dollar. Uh, they don't sell them anymore. Uh, at least I haven't been able to find them. You might be able to just find them on one of those websites uh, that sell dollar store toys. There's tons of them out there. There's also websites who sell in bulk uh, stuff like this. So you could check them out, but yeah. 
it's not a bad uh, mold at all. Um, there's a gimmick. This right here just kind of doesn't work super well. But yeah, it's, you can probably maybe hear it, maybe not because of my mic. But yeah, it's supposed to propel the tank forward, but I guess it kind of works. But okay. But yeah, not a bad little tank. I actually quite like this one. Um, in fact, if you see these for like a dollar or two, I would definitely pick, well, knocking everything over, uh, a few of them up, because I actually quite like them. But anyway, enough of the one dollar. Let's kick it up just a notch. Talk about this thing. So, uh, so some of you are looking at this and you're just like, whoa, where did you get that plastic commander? And I'll tell you, Dollar General. <laughs> so we're, we've gone from Dollar Store to Dollar General. We're moving on up in this world. But uh, yeah, looking at this, Dollar General sold these. They were in like a box and they were about $3.50, if I'm remembering correctly, or they were just three even. And uh, I bought uh, quite a few of these. I think I bought about eight of these uh, before they quit selling them because I actually quite like them. And also, I just remembered I wanted to scale these with army men <laughs> to kind of give you an idea of how big they are. And it's a really good size. And you don't get a whole lot of these, just tinier takes that fit well with army men that sell uh, just on their own. So, yeah, I really like it. Uh, it's a really nice mold, too, move the army men out of the way. We get lots of detailing on the top right there. We got the hatch. Right here, you got another machine gun, as well as this machine gun right up here. Now, this piece does not move. And uh, if you can guess what our last take will be, you're probably thinking, well, dang, that's a shame, but still pretty decent. It has this little cylinder piece right here. And I'm guessing that's just kind of hold it together. You can kind of see it at the scene. But regardless, it's still really nice. You got some stickers, you got um, a bunch of numbers, I guess to remind you of uh, Mason from Black Ops. And then you got TH, which stands for takes a lot. That was a terrible joke. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's a nice little take. And there's buttons and they have sound effects. So and a little machine gun lights up. Yeah, that's really cool. That's definitely not annoying. You know, parrots love toys that make lots of sounds, lights, and noise. I don't know if you can hear that super well. But yeah, it has an engine starting. Pretty dope. And finally... Yes, that's right, another sound of warfare. Just what the kids love to hear. So, that's a neat little take. Those were sold by Dollar General, and I guess I'll put it back because I'm not done. But these were sold by Dollar General for quite a few years, and uh, recently they stopped selling them. I'm gonna guess it's because the cost to make them just made it not worth to sell, because they only sold these for about $3, so I'm guessing the margin uh, with inflation just was not worth it. I really wish they'd bring them back and maybe sell them at like five, because I think at five dollars, this is still a pretty nice buy. Uh, this is still a pretty decent take. However, I wouldn't spend anything over that, um, because at that point, you can just, you could buy just like really nice Timmy takes, like actual plastic, these guys. So, really, really dope. So, moving on up, our second to last take, and uh, I gotta stand up for just a second. Because I'm getting this guy, he was on a shelf, and it was really tall, and I couldn't reach it, and other stuff, but yeah. The BMC, and I'll bring the Sherman out too, the BMC 132 scale tank. So, 
Uh, we all know and love BMC Toys, raise the camera up just a little bit, but they have been making classic army men for years and years, and their goal as a company, if you don't know, is to make army men in that kind of classic style. And they make tons of play sets. They have one of Iwo Jima. They have a D-Day play set. Uh, and they also make army men for other wars too, like Civil War, American Revolution, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm, I love BMC. Uh, one of my favorite army men companies uh, and suppliers. They also uh, make Timmy reproductions as well. So... Definitely, if you're an army bin person, you of course know who BMC is. So, just looking at these tanks, the cool thing about these is that they're actually 132. So, if you took a guy who's 132 and put him, you know, right there, you know, it would be in scale. Like, technically, this is in scale. Which, when you compare this to, like, even the Tim E pattern, it just dwarfs in comparison. So, as most of y'all know, a lot of army men tanks that have been made throughout, you know, toy history typically tend to be smaller than the scale of the army men. Like, for example, most army men are 132. I have this Airfix Commando right here. Um, however, the tanks specifically, as well as like helicopters, jets, and whatnot, tend to be smaller than 132. They tend to be more towards like 142 or 148 even. And that's basically just to save on costs. Uh, because if you made everything in 132, it'd be super expensive. And that's no exception here. These takes go for about $15 and they got a little bit of dust on them. Um, just, just a tad bit. <laughs> They've been on a shelf, but still they're Really, to me, they're worth it. And I think the best way to get these takes is if you just buy one of the BMC play sets. They make several. They make one that's like a D-Day set. They make another that's like an add-on to that set. It's about $50. And you get both of these takes with a bunch of figures and accessories. And I think, personally, that's the best way to get these figures and to get, the, or get these takes, I mean. Um, and they make tons of other takes too. They make a Jagdpanzer, which I have one of those, but I just wanted to look at these two because these are like the king, you know, the king takes that they sell. They also just recently collabed with Classic Toy Soldiers to sell their takes. We won't be looking at those. I'd rather save those for another video. Uh, in fact, I kind of want to do a part two to this video, so we'll probably go to that. So, but anyway, BMC takes, and I'll just do another look-see around here. Really nice, really cool, and I really like them. We'll take a look at the Sherman, too. Lots of detailing on the front. My stickers are a little worn. I actually got both of these used at an eBay lot, so I... Yeah, really, I don't seek out vehicles super often, but I saw these at an eBay lot for about mm, 25, and I was like, oh, that's a really good deal. So I went ahead and snagged it. And it also came with a bunch of other stuff too, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, really nice. But I'm gonna move them out of the way. Because ladies and gentlemen, our last take of the evening, our day, I don't know what time you're watching this video, and it certainly isn't live. In fact, while you're watching this video, I'm probably slaving away at my manual labor job. So that's some food for thought. But regardless, our last take, there's a jump in price, like a big jump. So the BMC tanks go for around 15 each plus shipping, because I don't think there's any stores that sell BMC products specifically, especially not their tanks. So you can just say 20, it would run you about $20 to get those. This next take, goes for ridiculous amounts of money, and I will talk about why. But you probably already guessed it. Da 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 da. The Super Bully. So this tank tends to go for about $300 on eBay. Um, and there's a reason for that. So this was made by the Bully Company, and of course you can tell by looking there, you see the Bully logo, 1998, made in China. So this take is as old as I am. Um, the stickers are, they've seen better days, but still, 
This is a really cool piece, and it came in like a playset of just vehicles, I think. It might have had a couple already in, but I think I had some bully stuff growing up as a kid. I think they made like this garage uh, hanger that had like five RB in, but it mostly had tons of accessories. But I never had this take in particular. Um, so, and this one specifically came in like a big vehicle pack with a bunch of other stuff. And the reason so many people love it is because of this right here. Yeah, I bet you got to change your pants after seeing that. <laughs> um, yeah, it has this little turret on here, which sure as heck beats out this turret right here. I don't care if it lights up, just get that out of my face. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. I'm not going to bid this too much because you know, it's, it's worth a lot of money and I could resell it in the future if I ever uh, need help paying my rent, which is kind of crazy to think about. But um, yeah, the Super Bowling, it's a objectively just let's say this is just a random take I found on the street this is a really nice mold I can see why people love this take it has great detailing it has um, really sturdy plastic it's about the same as the Timmy plastic in fact I'd say this is like slightly nicer it's a lot sturdier though and unlike Timmy I feel like it'd be more prone to break uh, one of the big selling points of Timmy toys that they always uh, promoted was that their toys were about unbreakable like and that's because the plastic is this really soft kind of rubbery plastic or I wouldn't say rubbery it's just really soft and uh, that makes it real easy to move them around and the plastic they use is called PVC plastic here's a figure by NPC made of the same thing and as you can see just really really soft really easy to move really really cool and this is made out of a much higher quality nicer plastic um and uh it's a lot more sturdy it's a lot harder i'm not gonna bend it around for y'all's benefit just because like i said this is worth quite a bit of money but um yeah really cool i really like the detailing right in here on this but yeah the stickers have seen better days for sure and this is a really interesting slot for the wheel at first i saw this and i thought it was broken at the bottom but no they're both like that that's just how it's molded but yeah the reason this tank goes for such ridiculous money was because back in 2010 michael ackerman we all know michael ackerman if you're in the army Men community made uh his stop motion film plastic apocalypse um and in that uh short stop motion animation one of these takes shows up and after that everyone and of course 40 million people saw this video so everyone tried getting one of these like and it just skyrocketed the value because not a whole lot of these were made or necessarily sold in their heyday so used ones were going for ridiculous amounts of money and they still do today um so mike if you're watching this this is your fault <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you like I follow Mike and I follow each other on Instagram um, I'm a really big fan of his I'm a real big fan of his artwork too in fact go follow his Instagram his artwork is really really good but uh, Mike if you're watching this this is your fault bro I'm just gonna tell you in fact I'm gonna message him on Instagram and tell him I'm talking about the Super Bowl and, and tell him that the reason it's so much is because of him but anyway there's a $1 take, $300 take. Can you spot the difference? Because I sure can. And by the way, I did not pay $300 for this. <laughs> I'm going to make that clear right now. I paid about $30. I got it in an auction. So, really happy about that. I really did not want to pay an arm and a leg for this take. But anyway, guys... $1 tank, $300 tank. You see that? That sweat. I sweat for you people. This helmet is quite warm. Uh, just, just saying, just in case you don't know that. Uh, it's actually quite warm in this room. Um, that's interesting. 
I don't know how else to phrase it, but yeah, it gets kind of warm in here, so I'm probably gonna put like a box stand or something in this room. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the PCAS podcast. So if you don't know, me and the YouTuber Army Stop Motions, who is a really, really great YouTuber, he's made a lot of great stop motions. Uh, he just had one out recently that has me in it, so go check that video out on his channel. Uh, me and him started doing a podcast. We don't know how often we're going to upload, uh, probably like once to twice a month, if I had to really guess or spitball it. But the first episode is out, so make sure you go over and check that out. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, I am really glad to be back. I'm going to try to upload a little bit more often than I have been, uh, especially now with the new job. That should be a lot easier to do. I should have more time to work on the channel. But definitely, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Plastic Commander. This is Frankenstein's Monster, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Unless I die. Death can always come a-knocking at your door when you least expect it. You never know when it's going to come, and when it does, it bursts right in before you have even a chance to turn the knob and say, welcome. Will I be the next one? Will it be my name? Engraved onto a rock slapped in the middle of a cemetery? Only time will tell. What was I talking about? Mission accomplished. Well done, man. Pack it up. We're going home.